Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how you can use Plasticity's new dual window workflow to have your main object right here, whatever you're working on, and then have a second window with all your little kit bash, insert boolean kit bash pieces. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there, and it's got a lot of awesome content. It's got over 42 hours of educational content, it's got a tree cutting mix, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. So let's just use a sphere. All right, we'll say this is our our main object right here. We're going to click right here in the top left, New Window. It's going to open up. We're going to go ahead and just kind of uh, drag this to be smaller. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and open up the plasticity file where we keep all of our little doodads and you can of course share plasticity files with others so you can go ahead and share your kit bash pieces very easily all right i've got these quick objects that are made nothing too fancy here so you saw this in the previous video you already know how to create them if not look at the last 20 seconds of this video to find a link to this video right here all right so i'm going to go ahead and select this i'm going to press Control shift c all right that's going to do that right there actually let me just undo that so Control shift c now i'm going to go ahead and press escape to exit out of here exit out of that tool and then i'll go into this view i'll go ahead and press Control shift v and here it is guys i can now press s to scale it d for offset right and i'm just going to go ahead and right click and quickly create you know this is how you go ahead and mass detail your objects i can go ahead and select all this Press Q to subtract. All right, as you can see, I should have had a little bit higher, for example, but that's okay because all I need to do is deselect that and just uh, delete that. There we go, guys. At this point, we can select, you know, if there's uh, inner pieces, we can select them and give them a different color. And you guys know the drill. So now you guys know how you can use this dual window workflow. What I like about plasticity, guys, is just how simple solutions are found you know in a lot of programs it would take a while to get a nice you know kit bash feature it would be like a expensive add-on or something well plasticity it's just done in the most basic way it really is you know just open up a second window have all your stuff here press a hotkey plug it into your main scene you know no need for any kind of fancy solutions sometimes guys the the most basic solution just a second window is just the easiest so you can even if you want to have multiple windows open with different little kit bash pieces. I mean, it really is just incredible. Uh, another little subtle detail is that the window, the color of the second window is a little bit different here. Maybe, maybe hard to tell. This is like a, a darker purple. This is more of a pinkish. But if I do it once more, guys, new window. What you're going to notice, so, see the automatic change that happened? Now it gave this new window a blue color. And uh, if I kind of move it here, you know, now it gives us a blue color. So I'm just totally impressed by plasticity. I'm really glad I stuck with this program and helped it out because I really see that uh, Nick Callan is just adding really nice features at a very nice steady pace. He's, he's giving us what we want. Uh, all these features guys are things that we're asking for him to do and he's actually adding them in. So uh, no other program does this. You know, with another program, nobody really cares about your suggestions, your opinions. Maybe it takes five or 10 years to finally integrate something with plasticity. It's all here within a month, all the new features. So now you guys got multiple windows open. For example, in one window you can have like, uh, you know, frame mesh, kit bash pieces. Another one you can have like nuts and bolts. Third one, triangle pieces, whatever you want. So definitely this is a very powerful workflow, guys. And don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on this workflow and don't sleep on plasticity. Thank you for watching and take care.